The rate of women in the UK giving birth over 40 has doubled in the past 30 years. One journalist has now even called for women to stop having babies in their 40s because of the mental, physical and emotional toll. Hmm, what do you think? Do you think it's time to encourage women to, to conceive at a, a younger age, when they're in their 20s or 30s? Well, joining us to discuss it now is blogger Lucy Baker, who was 43 when she had her third child, and she says that she's a better and more patient parent now, and influencer Esther Falana, who had her daughter at 21 and says she wouldn't dream of having children over the age of 35. Why, why not? What's wrong with having a baby <laughs> at 38, 39, 40? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's subjective, but I just feel like... Um... Having my daughter young has given me a lot of, you know, experience in growing with her, you know, and learning her as a person as well as learning myself. Um, I have a great family network and support who have been very supportive of me um, because I believe it takes a village to raise a child. Um, I feel like as well, you get to grow with that child and understand them, especially with this new digital age that we're in, social media, you know. I well, you're not saying that someone who's 41, 42 doesn't understand social media. If no, I'm, no, no, I'm not saying that, of no. course not, but I just feel like you grow with them and you get to understand them. And plus, because I'm not too far off her age, I understand her school life, I understand her environment. What, in a way that you wouldn't if you were in your mid-40s? I think my mum didn't, not, not as much as I, I that, did. Do you I think did. maybe that's a different generation, I think though, as, as well as a different generation. I think I'm closer to her generation, so I understand, OK, all right, there's TikTok videos now. My daughter wants me to get me involved in TikTok videos. Now, I'm not saying someone that's 41 can't do that, but the energy that you have, you know, I'm 31 and I sometimes struggle to get up in the morning. Talk less of being 41. I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, Lucy, let's I'm not know sure. Sure. What do you make of that? So, I have done a TikTok, if we're going to think about that <laughs> bit. I've done a TikTok Lucy, with my daughter. I, I mean, I was, I was pretty hopeless, but yeah. she was quite embarrassed. But, but I'm, I'm 47, so I had my last baby. I've got three children. I had my last baby at 43. Mm -hmm. so I was very firmly in the geriatric kind of world, <laughs> um, some would say. But actually, I disagree with Esther because I feel like I'm in the best times of my life, really. I feel energetic. I feel confident. I think that's the thing. I'm more confident now I'm for, over 40. Um, I feel like I'm in my groove as a mother. I mean, I had my first at 34, so I wasn't young. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what I was doing. Now I'm a bit older, um, I'm more experienced, and I've just got more life experience, I think, to, to kind of share yeah. with my I children. Mean, I have to declare a bit of an interest, because I did have my child at 39, almost 40. Oh, um, wow. So I know, yeah. Uh, Esther, I mean, well, I think you, you're only 31, to be fair, at the moment, aren't you? So yeah. do you think you you know how you're going to feel? Because for me, I, you know, I completely see the point there that Lucy's making about, you know, you, you being more patient, you having had more experience. Mm -hmm. I still, you know, I keep fit. I've got a lot of energy, despite think, getting up at this time in the morning. I think patience, again, is subjective <laughs> to each individual. Like, you might be young and still be patient and be old and not have that same patience. So I think as well, we also have to look at the health, you know, the health risks in, involved in, you know, leaving pregnancy later. From 35, you are, you're, you're deemed high-risk pregnancies. And, you you know, there's, you know, the risk and of... And geriatric. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, you've got, you know, high risk of miscarriages, you know, premature births, you know. And so we have to look at all of those circumstances well, I, yeah. as well. There is yeah. a point about fertility as well. Yeah. Lucy, yeah. And if, those, if, if women choose to leave it And as well as that, in this current living crisis that we're living in, not everyone's going to have the, the financial support to be able to go and get IVF if, you know, they're naturally not unable to conceive. Mm, I think those are fringe five. arguments, though. I, I just think, fundamentally, mm. you're, you're just completely wrong. I mean, I, I declare an interest as well. I do. I mean, you're, we're here to, we're here to debate you, you're, you're I'm nothing rude. I just think you're yeah, wrong. I mean, You've got I mean, a bit I, of work to convince yeah, Richard. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it's fair to say. Because I can declare an interest as well, because my wife had our last child, Chloe, when she was 39, okay. was nursing her at 40, and that was in 1987. Mm -hmm. And the following year, mm -hmm. uh, Judy and I launched This Morning. Okay. Um, which was a big deal and caught, took a lot of energy. She had plenty of energy mm -hmm. to, 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 to do a major network new show, mm -hmm. getting up early every morning mm -hmm. and then coming home and, and looking after But again, again, a that's why I did, I did explain that like, it's subjective. Not everyone, yes. you know, is going to feel that. But I'm saying, for me at 31, with the way my life is, I'm a full-time mother, you know, I work, I have my own business, you know, I am very hands-on with my daughter. So now push it to 41 and be able to do those same things. Also, I want to be involved in her life in terms of what she likes to do, her activities. She plays football, basketball, tennis. Like, 
there's a lot to be involved in. So, so I couldn't imagine having that same... I think at 41, my mum wanted to have more kids at 41. She didn't. Thank God she didn't. I, because <laughs> it would have been us that would have been running around for the kids. And I remember... Well, I but then what... you make that point. But Linda's got in touch here to say, I find it bizarre people discuss it's too old to have children at 48 when a lot of younger parents pass their children on to grandparents. Oh. Exactly. Oh. After when you go no, to work. No, and you're no, talking no, about no, the fact yeah. it takes a village to, to bring them child, up. That's so you obviously rely yeah, on, but on the... other members of the family exactly, to be able to do but, it. And this is why I was going to say as well, like, I'm grateful that I had my child young because as well, my mum has been heavily involved. My village has been heavily involved. If I'd waited later, I don't know if my mum would be able to be as involved as she is. Thing she is, may not be able to run around across the park yeah, to go and grab her granddaughter. My parents are nearly 80. They're very much involved in my life and my children's life. They've just been travelling for three months, so they've got loads of energy. Maybe, you know, maybe it runs in my family that my, my um, you know, we've got more energy later on in life. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I do disagree with the fact that people are going to be more tired when they're older. I, I, oh, I think... I, think, I don't think so. No, I mean, I, I was. I think, I think you're are. tired anyway when you have I kids. Think we, you yeah, you are. Yeah. I had my first baby at 34. Yeah, I was there tired. There are certain demands at whatever age. I think you're going to be yeah. tired whatever age, aren't you? Well, yeah. night feeds and, you know, getting yeah. up at 4 I think morning, motherhood I is tiring, full, full stop. stop. I think yeah. whether you're 21 mm -hmm. or 41, it does, but actually, it does take its toll. But when I you're don't older, think... it's less about other things. You know, I mean, for a sense, if you're younger, sometimes you've got competing things in your life. You might want to be going out with friends at the same time. See, I got all the partying out the way before I had my children. Mm. I lived in London, 20s and 30s, mm. had a great time, I put it that way. I just and think, then... and I don't include you in this, because your arguments are, are logical and rational, and, you mm -hmm. know, I, I disagree with them, but, but you know, you, you, you're making them on a rational basis. I do think, though, that the general thrust of disapproval at women mm. in their 40s, Hilary Swank, 48, having babies, yeah. it's something to do with this awful judgmentalism that, that, that women have to put up with. Yeah. Yeah. It very often comes yes. from other women as well. Yeah. You're and so right. Men you're have so right. children. Uh, yeah, you know, would you think about it? So when I was... 50, 60, 70. Yeah, when yeah. I was pregnant at 42, I told people and everyone said, oh, have you, I, thought you'd, I thought you'd had enough. Did you know you are going to be 47 when the baby starts school? I thought you were tired of nappies. And it all came from women. Yeah. And interestingly, the article in the paper yesterday or the day before saying that women should stop having babies over the age of 40... Um, I don't think it helps written because, again, it was written by a woman. Um, other women judge other women. And I started That's the right. blog Geriatric Mum because I wanted to, to, st to, to help people understand that judgment is not helpful. Yeah. And just to add on you know, to that no, as well, yeah, just to add on to that, I think it's, again, we shouldn't... There isn't a time scale of when it's best to have a child. No. You know, I think it, you should have it when it's right for you. Financially, you know, circumstances... A lot of people wait to be in a financially mm. better circumstance to have children. Mm. Some people have children early because they have no choice, you know, they're put into a situation yeah. Yeah. where yeah. they're forced and they have to grow I up. I just think sometimes so, you yeah. don't know... Last point. Sorry. Yeah, you don't point, know yeah. what your life is going to be exactly. like. You don't yeah. know what your pregnancies are going to be like. Mm -hmm. I had problems with my 30s. I had a baby at 37. It was a, pro a problematic pregnancy. The one I had at 43 was beautiful and uh -huh. I enjoyed and every easy. second <laughs> of it. And I love yeah. being a mum now. I'm older as yeah. well. I'm and I have to say, just coming back so... to, the, to the, grand, the grandparent thing, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm a grandfather now. Yeah. Um, I love it. And, and, and one of the reasons I love it is that it reconnects me with what it was like to be a, a much younger man looking after little children. Yes, um, I love it, that. You, yeah. you revisit your youth, actually. But what I would say yeah. for people, and speaking for someone who had fertility difficulties, I didn't set out to have a baby at the age of 39. I would have it much rather time. have had a baby sooner. Mm -hmm. But it is important if it's, you know, something that's a big deal to you, please don't leave it too, too late, late because you just don't know what your circumstances are. You don't know what yeah. you're Don't plan yeah. and think, yeah. oh, great, I can leave yeah. it until I'm 40. I don't think you can Because you plan. may not be able to have a yeah. baby. You can never plan to have a baby. You know, you don't know what your situation is and your life circumstances okay. are. No. Go for it if you want to. All okay. right. Here we go. Thank you for a Thank you both debate. very much. Enjoy yeah. that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>